Jesus has just asked a wealthy young man to sell everything he has, give it to the poor, and then come and follow him. Jesus loves this man, but the man has turned his back on him and he's returned sadly to his comfortable home. As Jesus and the disciples are watching in amazement, the man leaves. Then Jesus says something even more amazing. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. But Jesus said again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. As far as the disciples or anyone in their society were concerned, if anyone deserved to be rewarded with eternal life, it was the rich young man they'd just seen leave the presence of the master. The first reason was that he had apparently kept the commandments, which in their religion meant a ticket straight to heaven. And the second reason is that he was very wealthy, which in that religion meant that God approved of him and had especially blessed him for his faithfulness and devotion to him. So when Jesus sadly exclaims, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God, the disciples are amazed. So Jesus repeats it again. And then he says that it's harder for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. The camel was the largest animal they knew. And everyone knew how small the eye of a needle was. Jesus was emphasizing with wry humor just how difficult it is to enter the kingdom of God if you are burdened down by wealth and the things of this world. According to global statistics, if you live in the Western world, you are certainly among the rich. No matter how poor you may feel, you are still in the top minuscule percent of the world's wealthy. So think carefully about what Jesus said. Why is it so difficult for the rich to enter the kingdom of God.